There's tension between these pawns, and even though this seems easy, there's only one way for white to win this. So pause the video and test your endgame skills. Alright, so we first look at taking this pawn because we all do, it's a free pawn. But this is something everyone should know, and that is after king to f7, this is a well-known draw. Because even though white can make their way slowly up the board, black will just stick behind the pawn and this is going to be a draw by stalemate. Okay, so taking the pawn doesn't work. And obviously if we just move the king, then black will just take our pawn. So by process of elimination, we can play e6. And now black has a little tricky move by playing king to g8. And if we decide to take this pawn after king to f8, we're stuck with the same problem once again and we know this is a draw. So instead of taking this pawn, we of course have to come for the king. If black tries to play f5, we can just push this pawn because now our king locks away the black one. So instead, black moves the king over. And now we can take this pawn and after king to e8, tell me, what move here wins for white? 